this is Terry from Jimmy Bean's Wool. And I'm Diane from Knitting Pure and Simple. And today it's all about gauge. We are going to tell you about the importance of gauging and swatching. So, the first, there are two things that make your sweater fit, and they are? And the first one is knowing the finished measurement that fits the way you like. And the second one is getting the exact gauge that's on your pattern. Okay. Now to find the gauge that's on your pattern, you look at the yarn weight that the pattern recommends. In this pattern right here, it happens to be a light worsted weight. So we want to find out what yarn is going to work. So this pattern calls for 20 stitches per inch. So we've got these yarns right here, and we can see, okay, on this yarn, it's four and a half stitches per inch, which is a worsted weight, and number four. And on this one, we can see here that this is 20 stitches to four inches, which equals five stitches per inch. So, we have so both of those would be suitable. Yeah, both of these would work. And then we have this one right here is seven stitches per inch, so that would be 24 stitches in four inches, which is not going to work. This is a number one yarn, so we know that this one is too skinny. So both of these, even though they say different gauges, they're close. They're both worsted weights, and by adjusting your needle size, you'll be able to get the gauge that this pattern calls for. Okay. Now, the importance of gauge can't be stressed enough. Because a tiny difference in your stitch gauge will make a huge difference in the finished size of your sweater. For instance, let's say we decide to make a sweater that has a 40 inch finished chest measurement. The gauge that we're going to be getting is 20 stitches to 4 inches or 5 stitches per inch. So we're going to have, let's say we have 200 stitches in our finished chest. So 200 divided by our stitch gauge of 5 gives us 40 inches. So, And that's what we want. And that's what we want. So let's say we do our swatch and we knit a little loosely and we get 18 stitches to 4 inches which is 4.5 stitches per inch. And by using our same formula, 200 stitches divided by our gauge of 4.5 stitches per inch we'd have a sweater that's 44 inches around. So you can see just half a si stitch makes four inch difference in the size of our sweater. Let's say we knit even more loosely and we get a gauge of 16 stitches to per inch, or 16 stitches to four inches, which is four stitches per inch. Our math, we divide it by 200 by four. That gives us 50 inch sweater. So our sweater would be 10 inches too big by only one stitch per inch off. So it's a huge difference. So remember, to change the gauge that you need to get, you change your needle size. Don't try to change the way you knit. So another example is, here I knit two swatches, 40 stitches wide. I needed five stitches per inch and the pattern called for using a size 7 needle, so that's where I started. I knit my swatch, but I got five and a half stitches per inch, and I needed five, remember? So I switched up because I'm going up a whole stitch, or going down, you know, changing my gauge by a whole stitch. I know my personal knitting, I needed to go up two needle sizes, so I tried it on a 9 and I got my five stitches per inch exactly right. And this is nine, but you can see even in 40 stitches, there's over an inch difference in these two gauge swatches. So on my next project I'm about to start, I did my swatch and I measured it. And here's how you measure it. You're going to, um, let's see, make sure I get all lined up here. So, we're going to take our gauge swatch, and you generally want to measure away from the edges because your bind offs and cast ons can change it. And you're going to line it all up, and then you're going to count. Where's my little pointer? Well, I'll use the pen. So, we're going to go 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 stitches per inch. But when I first knit this swatch, which 18 is 18 stitches to 4 inches. Excuse me, 18. <laughs> it gets hot in front of these camera lenses. <laughs> so it's 18 stitches to 4 inches which is four and a half stitches per inch, which is the gauge I needed. But when I knit this, before I washed it, I was getting a different gauge. So I thought, before I wash it, I'm going to switch up to the next needle size. And I switched to a nine, and I got one, two, three, four, 16 and a half stitches per inch, or per, excuse me, per four inches. And so I thought, well, that seemed about right, but then I washed it, and my original gauge was correct. So I learned an important lesson after all my years of avoiding swatches, because like every knitter, I hate swatching. But I'm absolutely convinced after these two projects to always do my swatches, wash them, let them dry, then tout my gauge, because I saved myself a lot of work and a lot of wasted time making the wrong size by checking my gauge properly. Okay, so that's how you check your gauge. And I'm Terry from Jimmy Beans Wool. And I'm Diane. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night.